In this video, we will explain about Yamaha speaker calculator Cisca. It is a dedicated software application that quickly calculates the number of speakers required for optimum performance in installation based on room size, type of system, type of speaker and speaker layout pattern. Plus it gives effective sound pressure level of the system. Cisco also has a report function that makes it easy to create documentation downloadable from Yamaha's website for free. Achieving consistent sound pressure level at the listening plane is an important goal in speaker system design. The following points should be kept in mind while designing the same. First we will see ceiling speakers. The nominal coverage angle listed in ceiling speaker specification is not the same as the speaker's actual effective coverage angle. SPL at the nominal coverage angle is 60 dB lower than the on-axis SPL measured at a constant distance from the speaker. The effective coverage angle is defined as the angle at which SPL is 60 dB lower than the on-axis SPL at the listening plane. The effective coverage angle is usually 70 to 80% of the nominal coverage angle. Number of methods can be employed when laying out speaker coverage areas like maximum overlap, minimum overlap, edge to edge, 1.4 edge to edge and 2.0 edge to edge. Now we will see surface mount speaker. Uniform sound pressure level can be easily achieved throughout the listening plane with surface mount speakers by aligning the speaker axis with the head of the most distant listener. This works because of the relationship between distance and coverage angle. When the axis is aligned perpendicular with the last row, the natural distance attenuation at the last row and the off axis attenuation at closer row will result in uniform SPL distribution. Now I will explain how Cisco software works. When you start the software, this is the home screen of Cisco. Here you will get new tab to create a new project. Open tab to open an old project. Option tab to change the language, unit and SPL. In this section, enter the project name. In memo, you can enter information about room or any other relevant information. There are two modes available, auto configuration mode. This mode quickly calculates the number of speakers with simple operation. Only VXC4 ceiling speaker is available in this mode. Advanced configuration mode. This mode quickly calculates the number of speakers required for optimum performance in a room specified by the user. Plus it gives effective sound pressure level of the system. Various ceiling speakers, surface mount speakers and subwoofers are available in this mode. Click on start button to advance to next page. For this video, we are going ahead with advanced mode. In room information screen, X means the width of the room, Y means depth of the room, Z means the height of the room. E is the measurement height. In most cases, this will be the height of the listener's ear. In import image, the room plan or any other image can be imported into the diagram. Imported image can be moved or resized. Press the next button to move to the next step. In speaker information screen, you will get the option to select the type of speaker and the impedance of the speaker. When you select a speaker, its photo and usage information are displayed on the right side of the screen. Some speakers may not be available to select depending on the connection method. After you configure the speaker, press the next button to move to the next page. In application screen, you can select the maximum SPL depending upon your requirement. In this drop down menu, select the SPL closest to your target. Press the next button to move to the next step. In settings screen, you can select the ceiling speaker density and layout type. 
when you click on the ceiling speaker tab, you will get the density option. Adjust the amount of overlap of the coverage areas. Here are 5 adjustment levels that you can choose from. Maximum overlap, minimum overlap, edge to edge, 1.4 edge to edge and 2.0 edge to edge. On the right side of the screen, it will display the coverage pattern. When you select a certain density, the software starts calculating and redraws the recalculated coverage areas. In layout type, by default, speakers are arranged in a square pattern. You can choose a hexagonal pattern. On the right side of the screen, it will display the change in coverage pattern with the change in layout pattern. Speaker spacing will show the spacing between the speakers. When you click on the surface mount tab, you will get installation location tab. Here you can specify speakers arrangement pattern like none, two means two speakers in front, four means two speakers in front and two speakers in back. Many means speakers around the room at the specified spacing. In the spacing, X and Y means speaker spacing across the room Width-wise and lengthwise. In pan, you can change speaker's horizontal angle, and in tilt, you can change speaker's vertical angle. In height, you can set the speaker's installation height. When you click on the subwoofer tab, you can specify the subwoofer installation location. Select the installation location from the nine available choices: corner or near the center of the room. You can install up to nine subwoofers. In height tab, set the height of the installation location. Select ceiling or floor. Some subwoofers may not be selected for floor installation. Press the next button to move to the next step. In setting information screen, speakers are automatically arranged based upon the room information, speaker density and application that were specified in the previous steps. Speakers that were automatically arranged can be moved and deleted. You can also undo a moved or deleted speaker or revert the layout. After confirming and adjusting the setting, press display button to move to the next step. Speaker list will display the list of speaker used in the calculation. In the sound pressure screen, you can view a sound pressure distribution map created based upon the specified condition. You can update the map by changing the measurement conditions such as the speaker output setting and the measurement frequency. In frequency section, the frequency band used for the sound pressure calculation can be selected. The default setting is overall A weighted. Other available settings are overall flat, low means 125 to 500 Hz, mid means 500 Hz to 2 kHz and high means 2 kHz to 8 kHz. If you change a parameter, the software recalculates and redraws the map. In low Z or high Z tab section, select the tab. The software recalculates the sound pressure distribution based upon the selected values. The color bar indicates how the colors are mapped to sound pressure. The target mark shown on the right side of the bar indicates the target sound pressure set in the application. The arrow indicates the maximum sound pressure in the current speaker output setting. These are also shown numerically next to the result and the target on the right side of the screen. Press the report button to move to the next step. When you press the report button on the right side of the screen, a dialog box will appear asking you to enter the storage location and file name of the PDF file. Enter the information and save the file. Here is an example of report. Thank you for watching.